So 7-4 step one is taking this bottom, these two bottom halves and clicoing them together. But that means the first thing I have to do is remove this blue stuff from everywhere. Fun. All right, after removing all the blue, uh, I went ahead and clicked these together and match drilled all the holes that were common to the two parts. And that's it, another step down. Really, these steps are really quick and short. All right, the next thing we have to do is final drill these two holes right here. And once we've done that, we will countersink the holes. So let's final drill them first. Uh, it's final drill. Awesome. Give those a little a little tiny deeper because they're a little sharp. And now it's a matter of countersinking. There you go, one countersunk hole. And now to do the other. So there we have two perfectly countersunk holes. So going from this view to this view, we need to flip this guy over, and we need to countersink these holes. I'm going to give this a little bit of a little bit of a chamfer here to help me get the countersink in. But it should just be a matter of like that. There we go. Now the other one. Uh, it's going to be a little awkward, sorry. A little deeper. There we go. All right. As with all things, you got to read the instructions many, many times. So step three in this process is clicoing the rudder horn to the bottom rib half using the three holes shown. So that's these three holes. Clico this here, and then I need to clamp this piece to this piece while I drill these holes. Otherwise, yeah, you have the possibility of it moving quite a bit because, well, it's not really held very tightly. I'm going to put some more Clicos in just in case. All right, there we go. I've got the three Clicos holding the horn to the bottom rib. I've added some more Clicos along here, so I know that this bottom piece, which if you remember, I cut from this piece so that it would fit more correctly, that's all set up and done. I just need to go find a C-clamp so I can clamp right here and then make these drill holes. So i got to go find my C-clamp. I have like three, and I'm not sure where they are. I wasn't able to find one of my C-clamps, but I did find one of these simple quick grip, C, uh, quick grip clamps, and it, it will work. I just need to make a single hole right here, and then I can Clico this and remove this entirely. So now, to match drill. go. And we run a cleat all the way through. It's through both sides. It's right in the center along with the rest of these, which is exactly what we were going for. Amazing. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. I don't. Not even a little.